Well, hello there, and welcome back to Nine Years in China. Uh, I'm kind of glad to be back doing a video. I have not done very many lately at all. There's, I got so many projects going on, and I've got over, already over a hundred videos on this channel. And I'm always trying to think, well, what's next? What could be next? What can I talk about? There's lots of current events I want to talk about, but uh, I don't want to get dig in too deep and get anybody upset because uh, I have some negative things I could say. But anyhow, uh, today, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You know, I'll, I, as I think of some stuff, I always put something on the channel. Uh, but I was going through some old videos that I had. Uh, you know, the whole time I was over there, I was always making videos and taking pictures, of course. And I ran across uh, a video that was taken uh, in Chujo, Anhui. Uh, uh, and uh, I was visiting a middle school. And I have done that a lot when I was in China. But I never got, I never had any video or any pictures. Uh, as a foreign teacher over there, especially in these small cities, I don't know about the big cities, you know, but in these small cities, um, you try to keep connections going between the schools. And um, so often we get invited to go visit a school, you know. Uh, I'll pick a day when I don't have a class or afternoon when I don't have a class or something. And we'll go visit schools, you know, language schools and middle schools. And um, Now, sometimes it's just to go watch some young teachers at work and try to help them become better teachers. Um, you know, and that, that happens a lot, too. But I visited my share of middle schools, and, man, you talking about chaos. Um, already, as a foreigner, a lot of times you're kind of a, a little bit of a celebrity in a way. Uh, the kids don't get a chance to really talk to foreigners that much unless their school has a, a foreign teacher, you know, and some do and some don't. You know, bigger cities, lots of them always have foreign teachers, but it's hard to attract foreign teachers into the smaller uh, cities and, um, you know, just, it, it's just China and I, it's hard to explain. Uh, but every time I ever got invited to a middle school, just to go visit, just walk through and talk to the kids and maybe give a real quick lesson about something or answer some questions, and that's a lot of fun. And it also gives them a chance to see you and, you know, they'll touch you and, you know, and stuff. And, um, you know, the first time I ever did it, when I was in Fuyang, uh, Anhui province, they... Um, I got to go out and we had like a um, kind of like an English corner uh, out in the middle of their uh, their property, and uh, end up uh, answering some questions. You know, the kids got to practice their you know their vocabulary, and and at the end of it, uh, a bunch of the I think this was seventh grade uh, kids, but they were singing a song to me in Chinese. Uh, it was really sweet. Uh, then the next year when I was in Huainan, Anhui, I got to go visit. I remember, I still remember to this day, it's called Number 26 Middle School. And when I got there, you'd have thought I was the president of China. Uh, those kids come running up to me and ask me questions and they were wanting my autograph they're wanting my autograph i'm just an old country boy from arkansas and uh but here i am i'm signing people's paper you know and writing on their arms even they were wanting you know my autograph on their arm <laughs> oh my god and uh, it got where the students were actually kind of overwhelming me and um, i tried to sit down and talk to them and all of a sudden, now they, this is middle middle school, 7th, 8th, ninth grade possibly, but I think these kids I were talking to were maybe the 7th and 8th graders. But they are climbing all over me like a bunch of monkeys in a zoo, like I had a pocket full of bananas. And uh, like I said, I'm signing their arms and they're climbing all over me. I wish I had a video of that. It was hilarious. 
and the teachers got afraid for me. And to be honest, I, was, I wasn't afraid, but it's like, what is going on? You know, you're, it's hard to get used to something like this. So they take me in their office, you know, and um, uh, even the kids were coming in the office trying to climb on me too, you know. But ended up, uh, we all went out and took some pictures, and it was all okay. It was good. Um, and uh, like I said, I've done that a lot. And the video I found uh, earlier today was when I was in a school in Chujo, Anhui. It's a really, really good city, small city. Uh, the people are really, really great there. And um, this video clip you're going to see behind me as I'm doing talking, as I'm talking to you right now, you're going to see this video clip uh, behind me, and uh, you'll see how actual chaotic it is and how you're treated as a foreigner uh, in China when you go to the right place. Now, there are places where, you know, they don't care, uh, you know, just another foreigner, but when you're in these small cities like I was in, um, it's a big, big deal, and there's a chance for them not to have class for a little while and just hang around with me. Um, but, I, you know, when I saw that video today, I said, man, you got to see this. And when you see this, um, when you see this video, uh, you have to think about what it's like to walk into that situation, you know. Now, by the time I got to Chujo, I'd done stuff like this many times, but it can really be overwhelming. If you were a new teacher in China, you'd be probably climbing the walls. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's real cute uh, clip there, and you can just watch it behind me and see what's going on. Uh, but uh, as a teacher, I love doing it. I love visiting the schools. I was deeply interested in the education in China and how things work. And um, anyhow, just thought, you know, well, you need to see this and, you know, kind of believe it, all right? But you take care and have a great day, and we'll come back at you with something else, okay? So bye-bye.